guys, it's Game Ramer here. So today we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at this pretty sweet homebrew game for the Vectric system. Now this game was actually released in 2007 and it's actually called Vectrexians. So it's modeled after Galaxians. So let's go ahead and check this out. So if you guys have seen any of my previous videos on this Vectric system, you'll know that I really enjoy a lot of the games on the system. Now with a very short library of games and a pretty short run of the Vectric system, it's always great to see people make homebrew games for this system. So of course there are tons of Vectrix homebrew games out there and I actually just picked up this copy of Vectrexians and a few others from the person who actually created these. So this is Vectrexians and it comes in this pretty sweet cassette case right here. And it also comes with this pretty sweet overlay that has these vibrant colors on it along with this cartridge game called Vectrexians. So if we just go ahead and open up this case right here, you'll notice that it came with a little bag for the cartridge itself and it actually sat right in here and then we have this instruction guide and this cart is actually numbered so this is made by Touchtronics in 2007 and this is cart number 136 now I've actually seen carts that are way higher than this number so this is a very popular game with the homebrew community and pretty much how this game works it's very similar to Galaxians so this is called Vectrexian, so it takes a little spin off of that. And on this actual overlay, you'll notice that 1 and 2 on the buttons right here, they don't do anything. Number 3 is pause, which you can actually pause the game. And number 4 is fire, and you move the ship back and forth by this joystick. So it says, battle stations, 20 hostile convoys are heading towards your home world. Fight bravely and focused against these attacking alien foes. Do you have what it takes to become the Supreme Vectrexians? Now in this game, this is a lot of fun and there are some different difficulties on here. There's actually three. So on here, you'll notice that one is actually easy, two is normal, and three is hard. And it says number of players can be played by either one or two players. In a two player game, each player is playing alternately with one ship. And please note that the effect of difficulty will become more and more noticed at levels greater than level four. So on here, when you actually start, it has this pretty sweet intro of Vectrexians. And it has this pretty sweet music along with it. And it kind of has this... 3D effect of the actual ship that you play as, which is really sweet. And then at the beginning, it actually shows you how to calibrate the game. So this game is pretty sweet because it has its own game calibration that really helps. So it says, due to hardware limitations and differences of your Vectrix, this game must be calibrated during power up of your Vectrix. Please go to the calibration menu and press button four. Read the instructions on the screen on how to calibrate the game. The main goal is to line the various lines of enemies with the so-called reference line of enemies. This line is drawn for reasons of reference and is depicted in red in the picture shown here. On the left, please use the joystick for positioning the row of enemies to the proper position while holding one of the buttons pressed. So you actually have to calibrate each row and actually have them line up so that they're not all slanted you want to have even and straight rows but that's pretty simple to do and it's right there on the menu for you and then when you actually begin the gameplay it says the enemy will invade your galaxy in waves of 20 convoys each convoy exists of four types of enemies so you have the pawn which is also known as the cannon fodder the enforcer a more clever enemy sweeping in a more aggressive way around the area 
The Guider, which is two of these are attacking together with a leader, resulting in a threatening attack. And of course the leader, which are the bosses of the convoy. When a convoy's total destruction is near, these types of enemy will see the chance to take a back door to the next convoy with a big part of vengeance. So it kind of gives a lineup and a description of which enemies are called what. And it says the enemies in the convoy will attack you by breaking the formation with swinging patterns while dropping their bombs all over you. The aim of the game is simple, destroy all enemies of all 20 convoys before you ever think of returning home. The first convoys are still easy to defeat, but beware, as you reach higher levels, so will the speed and fighting spirit of the convoys. So it says getting hit, if an enemy bomb or an enemy collides with you, your ship will explode. If you have additional ships left, you will continue to fight against the current convoy. You actually start the game with four ships, and an extra ship is awarded for each 4,000 points scored. So, the actual end of this game, which I haven't actually made it to that part yet, because it is a little bit challenging, and I like playing on a more challenging difficulty, as it's a quick, faster-paced game. It says, the end level and beyond infinity. The last level is 20, when destroying the last enemy of that convoy, you have stopped the enemy invasion and your journey back home can start. With a small animated movie, the game is ended and a new game is started. So, I'm definitely looking forward to actually reaching the end because I would like to see that little animated movie that they have. But this game will definitely keep me busy for a little while. And it's definitely a little bit challenging as when you keep playing and you're almost finished a level, the music kind of gets a little bit intense with that buzzing noise. So it definitely makes you feel a little bit anxious when you're playing the game, which definitely makes it a little bit more challenging, in my opinion. So overall, this is definitely a great spinoff on Galaxians, and I definitely enjoyed this game, and I had a lot of fun with it. recommend picking up this game if you're looking for some more Vectrix games, especially if you already have the complete catalog of Vectrix games that were originally released. It's definitely pretty sweet to check out some of those pretty cool homebrews for this system as there weren't very many in the entire catalog and this is a pretty fun and challenging game which I thoroughly enjoyed. So definitely stay tuned as I'll continue playing some homebrews that I picked up. And I even picked up another one made by this same company. So that is Vector Patrol. So I'll go ahead and get some gameplay of that as well. And I'm still on the lookout for Vector Pilot, which is also made by this same company. So that one is definitely on my list to check out. And I'll go ahead and compare it with these. But this one is definitely a fun game. I really like that it comes with this overlay, it has these vibrant colors, which definitely help when you're playing the game because you have different rows of enemies, so it looks pretty sweet when it's dark because the light actually shines through and you'll have rows of red, blue, and green enemies, which looks pretty sweet. And then you even have this pretty cool label on this Vectrix cart right there. And it's pretty sweet that whenever you put in the game, it actually tells you which cart number it is. So I really like that as well. But this is definitely a pretty fun game, especially if you enjoy Galaxians and all of those Galaga style games. This is definitely a fun one. And I really like that it has different difficulties because as you can tell with the first level compared to the third level, it definitely picks up the pace and you have more enemies swooping down and hitting you with the bombs. So this was definitely a pretty fun game and I really enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.